Hello, it's Stefan Bazzi. In this video, I'll be showing you the process that you will need to go through to create an app with Bazzi AI from scratch. Feel free to follow along this tutorial, but also make sure to check out the other videos that detail each step of the process. Before we get into it, there are actually a few things that we need to check if we are using the Bazzi AI assistant to create the app. So first off, make sure you are working in a Bazzi AI enabled toolkit. You can find this on our Figma community page. Uh, the link should be in the description as well. Currently, we have three versions that you can choose from, dark, light, and silver. Today, I've chosen to use the dark toolkit for my app. Then you also want to make sure that you are working on this particular page of the toolkit, which is called your app here, because this is a blank canvas, so you won't create um, conflicts when the screens will be generated. And finally, make sure that you have been granted access to Bezi AI. You can check that by opening your chat panel. If it looks like this, you are all set up and good to go. And if not, that means you probably don't have access yet. There are four steps to create an app with Buzzy AI, and those are represented by the tabs in your plugin. So it's a sequential process, and you need to go through each step um, to be able to successfully create your app. So step one is generating your app brief. So what is an app brief? It is a high-level text description of your app. Um, here, I created an event booking app, and this is what the generated app brief um, looks like at the end. So it includes the app name, the app description, the app functions, which are the features of your app, and your user roles. So we got another video that goes deeper into how to create your app brief, so definitely go watch that one as well. After we got your brief, step two is creating the data model. So this is the data structure of your app, and it includes all the entities that your app will need, um, to have as well as the fields for each one of them. We've also got a specific video on that topic. Step three is generating your screen. So this is done in the markup tab. Again, we have a video dedicated to this particular step, so make sure to check that out as well. But basically, this is where the AI assistant takes your brief and your data model and creates screens in Figma that fit those. So those screens will have Buzzy markup already, so all you need to do is go to step four, which is publishing your app. So this will publish your app um, on the Buzzy server, and you'll be able to view it um, in your browser. And you're all done. So you got the version one of your app, and from here you can go back to edit your file, edit stuff, and add more complete features, also customize the look of the screens, etc. One thing I want to emphasize is that Buzzy AI is a code design partner. What it does speed up your processes by creating a baseline for your app that could otherwise take weeks to develop manually. And each use case is different, of course, so that could represent 20% of the work or maybe 80%. To make the most of this tool, it's important to recognize the handover point between the AI assistant and you as the human designer. So give us your app idea, we'll give you a powerful head start and a platform, and then it's on you to take it to the next level. So this was an overview of the process that you will go through when creating an app with the Buzzy AI Assistant in Figma.